No, it's not a fair comparison, and nor should it be. And Alvin Gentry say, look, tamp these comparisons down. It's not fair. First of all, Skip, he's not ha- he doesn't have the expectation. Mm. The offense is he's not going to be in control of the offense. That'll be Lonzo. When Lonzo is not handling the ball, that'll be True Holiday. When Holiday isn't on the ball, that'll be Ingram. I don't see a scenario. LeBron James has been in the control mm-hmm. his entire 17-year yeah. career, and he will be that again. Yep. So the comparison is not there. Uh, I get it. Uh, he was. He's going to have highlight plays. Skip. The only comparison, they were number one overall draft picks, uh, highly touted. Yep. Uh, the guys love these guys. Uh, everybody's going to love him because he's going to play hard nightly, Skip. He's going to have highlight plays. Yep. The dunk right off the rip. First, Tomahawk. And then two hand mm-hmm. and blocking shots. He, so he's going to be spectacular. But Skip, he's not going to have the the immediate impact. He's not going to be asked to do what LeBron was asked to do. Mm-hmm. So I don't really think it's a fair comparison to say Zion mm-hmm. and LeBron James is on equal footing as rookies. To me, this is so totally unfair <laughs> that it's it's sickening because. It, it's so wrong, and it's become maybe a runaway media theme. Right. But I don't believe any player or any coach in this league is sitting back saying, man, I wonder if Zion's going to eclipse LeBron's early impact. <laughs> Nobody's thinking that. Right. That's just – Do people realize how good LeBron was, uh, Skip, early on? What was the the numbers at Sacramento that opened? Uh, well, yeah, like, like 20, 25. You know, he had like we had 25, 28, yeah. 5, and 5, 28, 8, yeah. 5, or something like that. Okay. But he was spectacular right out the box. And to your, I, I've said this all along. He, he's a once-a-generation passer of yeah. the basketball. And even though Zion played point guard in high school right. and then grew, yeah. right. uh, th- th- come on. It, it's so wrong. It, right. it, it's so it, – it, it's, it sets such a ceiling, so to speak, on what Zion can do right. early on because now we're in a different media age, social media age. Correct. It's going to be runaway highlight dunks. Mm-hmm. Okay, he's going to have those, and I think he's going to have them every night. Yes, he will. Because he is an exceptionally, rarely athletic leaper. But, you know, they, they force you in the NBA to have actual measurements. Did yeah. you see what his was? I told him he's 6'6". Yeah, six, six. He's 6'6". Six, six. So I thought when I first was aware of Zion early last year, I thought he was 6'8-ish. Yeah. And then Duke listed him at 6'7", and now they are officially listing him, real listing him at 6'6". Wow. Right. Charles Barkley, once upon a time, was he was listed at 6'6", six, 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 but, six, but he was probably 6'4 and a half, half maybe, right. something like that. And it skip it. <laughs> If he has a career, Charles Barkley had. Charles Barkley had a hell of a career. He He just happened to be in the era with Michael Jordan. He caught the tail end of Magic Johnson and Larry Bird. But Charles Barkley in any other era had a hell of a career. He's an MVP. Took a team to the finals. Right. And Charles had ball skills I don't yet see in this kid where he could handle it, shoot it off the glass. He started shooting threes late in his career. But the, the only similarity there is... Charles was always a little too heavy, but but he was a leaper for his for yeah. his girth. And this kid here is a leaper also. Yeah. But Skip, he can't, 285, Skip, yeah. that's too heavy. I got it. Skip, he's yeah. going to have to – Skip, he's 285 and 19. So. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If I'm him, I look, I understand New Orleans, the cuisine down there, but Skip. But he looked a little I'm better last I'm night. Finding, I'm, finding me, I'm finding me a personal chef. You're better. Just be and careful with injuries. Knees won't take it. No. Joints won't take it. Mm-hmm. No. Nah. Yep. A, a man that size skip was, wasn't built to get up and down like he explosive mm-hmm. jumping up and down like that. Yep. So I told you all along, his best attribute to me is his joy yes. that he plays it's with. Infectious. Because it, it's infectious and it fuels him on a nightly mm-hmm. basis. I think he'll play as hard as anybody in the league no will question. play every dribble. Yes. Where every night he's going to bring whatever he's got that night. Mm-hmm. I hope he doesn't become jaded by the process because 82 is a lot of games. It's a lot of games. And after about 40 of them, he's going to probably hit the rookie wall and say, I have to play again tomorrow night. Yeah, that's two and a half times yeah. of college season. Yeah, that's it a is. That's good point. It adds up quick. Ooh. Yeah. And it take, it's a lot of wear and tear, not only your body, but on your psyche. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, you you know, yeah. you're a grown man, Skip. You got, you got light bill, phone bill, gas bill. You got a cell phone you got to worry about now. Mm-hmm. I mean, not that he had to worry about that. But I mean, yeah, I'm I saying, but I'm saying, he ain't got to go to study hall. He ain't got yeah. class. You got, a, you got a job now. Yeah. I mean, a real job. You go to work, and now you got to. Okay, what did he do with his? How did he manage mm-hmm. his time skill? Because you know, in college, skip, you got practice, you got study hall, you got training, yep. you got all this. So your time is managed for you. Yep. Now, as an adult, you got a real job. You got to manage your own time. Mm-hmm. How does he? How does he do that? Yeah. Did you see yesterday? He walked by Alvin Gentry, who was being interviewed by the ESPN reporter. And he yeah. said, "They asking about me." Uh, yeah. 
They are. Uh, yeah. Because that's all they're going to ask about the whole year. Yes. It's going to be all about you. Yes. And everybody's going to want a piece of you and your time. And everybody's coming to see you. You. <laughs> and expectations are going through the roof like yes. you jump. Yes. And you're playing, I told you, this is LeBron's greatest degree of difficulty in his career because the West is so deep mm-hmm. now. And New Orleans is intriguing to me mm-hmm. because they got a shot to make the back end of the playoffs. Yeah. They could be the eighth seed. But that means expect. Yes. So he can't just walk in the door and say, well, you know, because did LeBron make the playoffs his first year? No. Nope. nope, he did not. No. Okay. Hard. It's very hard. Yeah. And that was in the East. In the and East. can you imagine the West? If the West is stacked, stacked, stacked. Stacked to the bottom. It's yes. as bottom heavy as it's ever been. Yes. Because teams like Sacramento or they got talent. Sacramento man. is better. Yeah. I mean, Golden State, I mean, Golden State, we think Golden State's gonna be good, mm-hmm. but I don't think Golden State's gonna finish in the top three. Top four. I don't think so. so that either. means that means five through eight for them if they make the playoff. Portland. Mm-hmm. Portland thinks they've gotten better with Hassan Whiteside and Nurkic coming yeah, back. Utah got way better. Yeah. Denver's not going anywhere. Nope. And Houston thinks it's yeah, got a exactly. dynamic duo. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Hey, and we saw Saturday night. Yeah. <laughs> we saw Saturday night. Oh, I know you were happy. <laughs> we saw Saturday night. It was Gil Baby. Preseason. You were the parade master yesterday, Ooh. right? How was it? It's only a matter yeah. of time. Did it's only a matter of time. They present the trophy. No, 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 no. We hold it off on that. Huh. We hold it off on that. Are you? Nah. Yeah. That's good. Boy, it looked like a championship team to me. It does. In the first half of the first of six preseason games. Yeah. That huh. was just a little sample. Yep. That's what we do. We give you a sample. Okay. You taste it. You like it. You buy it. Okay. Mm. That was the sample. Really? How I'm, many people I'm, you think bought that? I'm not buying. You, you, oh, you ain't buying it? Yeah. Okay. A lot we'll of gullible people. Yeah, you, you, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I bet you start back eating sugar again. Because that's sweet what we got. Really? Yeah. yeah. You That's know the old P.T. Barnum line, sucker born every minute? Mm-hmm. He didn't actually say that, oh. but it's yeah. attributed to yeah. him. Is it? Sucker born every minute they know. in Laker Nation. Oh, no. right? Is that Stop what it, it. is? Yeah. Mm. 56. Mm. Get my five cases ready. Really? Okay. 56 wins. You got a lot of cases back. You had oh. a, another one yesterday. Was it about the free throws? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, 75%. It was wishful thinking. 75%. I'm even worried about you about 75%. that 75%. One. He got this. I just, I don't know. You let me off the hook. I gave feels... you a huge break. Yeah, I know you <laughs> let me off the hook because I was going to go 80. Were you? Yeah. Well, but you don't let me go off the hook 85. Last year you went 80 and he shot 67. Please don't like 80. I'm trying to protect you here. If he shoots 75 or 76%. Ooh, I'll be impressed. I, I'd be well, you might be impressed. Yeah. You might be impressed with this 25, 10, yeah. and 7. Yeah. Okay. I believe he will change his free throw routine 75 times <laughs> during the season. As long as they right. go in, I don't care what yeah. he does. Okay. He can, throw a, he can throw the Kareem hook shot from the yeah. free throw line for all I care. <laughs> as long as he makes 75% of them skip you know, back. At some point, he might, tr- Rick might turn his back to the basket and shoot over his head. Hey, right? he can do Rick Barry, the granny yeah. shot. I don't, I don't care. Whatever he needs to do. Yes, as long granny as they go shot. in. Rick- Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.